Alright, so today I've got a very interesting video for you all. I wanted to challenge myself to do some more building once again within Minecraft. I haven't done so for a very long time when it comes to actually making structures and, thing and things like that. So I decided to use an app to get myself a random build ID and try and build that within 2 hours within a 32x32 32 32 area. So for that I decided to use Jasa's RT game app which has a simple functionality for uh, mostly drawing things, which has an environment challenge which I could use instead of for drawing, I could use for building. So I did that, got a random one, and I ended up getting a cyberpunk city that is recovering from a siege and features a whirlpool. Now, I really tried hard on getting this whole team in place. It, uh, let's just say not everything did it go according to plan, but I'll tell you all about it once we get into the video. So let's start the building process. So what I had in mind was a little bit less cyberpunk, a little bit more steampunk, so that's really what I wanted to do. Um, so I decided to turn the platform into somewhat more of a city space to start off with. So I did some overhangs, some uh, difference in layer, because I really like the layered look that a lot of steampunk things have, at least in my mind. Uh, and I decided to set up some places where I would like buildings to be. Now the next part was the tough part. I wanted to come up with like a build design or a new structure ID that I haven't done before yet. And I just kept going back to the same thing over and over and over again. Um, and I just couldn't really come up with a great block palette. And that's something I've been really struggling with lately. Coming up with new block palettes and coming up with new build IDs that I just haven't done yet. I keep... Uh, getting or uh, what happens is I get back into the same build ID over and over and over again um, So you should also see me going a bit over the 32 block radius here I just wanted to really make it feel like a hole and I didn't just want to cut it off So I ended up deciding to go with this kind of build style uh, as you see this kind of pattern and block palette uh, I did tweak some stuff later on, but this is kind of the style I end up sticking with throughout the entire uh, build process. So I had to keep in mind that I didn't want to have like a lot of grass and nature stuff like that because it's, you know, steampunky. Uh, getting that steampunk feeling in there, however, took me uh, quite a bit of effort to really get in there. And uh, in the final result, I still didn't really have it as much as I wanted it to be. Um, anyhow, I kept on building. What I did kind of forget, which I later on regretted quite a bit, is I didn't put any building on an angle. Everything is uh, straight and it's very uh, cubic because of this. Um, so here you see me do the buildings up top, which was uh, were supposed to be a bit bigger, bit richer looking. Um, now, we are actually already getting really close to the first two hours of build process. Like just getting all these buildings in place and getting the design done just took a very long time. So I decided to actually give myself a bit more time, uh, which I'll go into later on in this video. Now what I tried to do here is it had to feature a whirlpool, so, and it should be under siege. Now the under siege part ended up going to waste in the end. Um, but I wanted to do some sort of whirlpool effect, so what I tried to do is with stained glass within a 2 hour time limit, get some tentacles in there as the under siege part. Uh, I ended up scrapping this ID later on, but uh, just in the 2 hour bit I did keep it in, because I really had no clue how else to do it. So here you see me retexturing those to be purple tentacle like. Uh, I also ended up making a little windmill which I deleted on later. As you see here I'll remove it. So this is uh, an additional hour I added. I ended up adding two hours to the entire build process just to add some more detail and things and whatnot. Here you see me try and come up with a bit of an additional texture mixture because I felt like the whole thing was very pale. Uh, like all the buildings had the same kind of texture, same kind of design. Um, so I wanted to try and find a bit of more differentiation within those buildings. I ended up changing the roof textures on certain buildings, uh, which is kind of what I sticked with in the end. Uh, honestly, I could have probably done more, but I really couldn't come up with another block palette that really fit the style. Here you see me doing some road area. And now I start to actually excavate the whole area out because I decided to do a whirlpool within like the cave area of this whole um, I guess island kind of thing, that's what I kind of went with in the end. A sort of floating island kind of look. 
Um, so he's quick camera pan here to me going building a crane. And now you might notice uh, some of the textures are a bit odd. I ended up using my own resource packs, which uh, pack which I use for the Argon map uh, for this. Uh, so you notice there's like some texturing error within the uh, oak slabs. Those are normally oak slabs, the petrified ones. Uh, I ended up fixing that later. Uh, I didn't build this with the resource pack on, so I kind of messed up there. Uh, anyhow, I made some cranes, uh, hoisting some up, uh, some blocks up. I still need to add those within the cave, which I haven't done. Uh, seeing as I decided to do uh, to stop after the two hours, and I do want to continue this pro project a little bit later. I actually want to try and turn it into a map, but I'll come back to that uh, at a later point. Uh, so as you see now, I'm just trying to add some more details, add some windows, add some doors. Uh, I, I added the chimneys in a little bit ago. Uh, I added more railings, I added areas that go into the cave and whatnot. Uh, now you, I actually add a bit of a layer of dirt, additionally, additional layer of dirt to kind of get that better blend with like the rocky terrain into the dirt areas on top. And here I actually did some texturing on some of the roofs, wherever like no rain could hit, I ended up giving it a lighter brown texture. Uh, which I thought was a pretty nice detail. Here you see me make another crane. Uh, this one goes to another platform and will go and slowly zoom nicely through a building and go to the other side where I'll also be adding another crane. So there's a tree in here now, uh, which I think does add a bit to that steampunky feel. Uh, I still feel like there's a bit of uh, um, uh, lackluster detail when it comes to that uh, design choice. Uh, but that might also be because there's no smoke and stuff like that in the map yet. Uh, now you see me making another crane or at least copying it over. Uh, and as you can see now I excavated out the whole area in the bottom. Now this is the uh, other additional hour I put in. Uh, and here I actually tried and do some more work within the cave which isn't very interesting. Uh, so I'll actually talk about what I want to do. I kind of want to turn this map into some sort of uh, mini... Uh, just Minecraft map. I actually tried to make a drill here, but decided to not go with that because I just didn't feel like I could make a drill that small. Same with like trying to make some glowing crystals, but that just didn't go according to plan, so I scratched that as well. Um, but I want to turn this in so, into some sort of, um, not adventure map, but more of a, uh, I have a, some kind of idea with it, but I don't want to spoil that yet. I first would like to know if you guys think I should spend more time on this and actually finish this and then turn it into a map. I personally think it might be good for the channel, uh, get my name out there, maybe cause a bit of a bit more channel growth, which is always nice. Um, but in that case, what do you think I should make this map into? It's gonna stay about this size, right? I still need to add some more details to it for sure. But if you have any suggestions for what kind of map I could make it, or if I should turn it in a, into a map at all, uh, please let me know down in the comments. I'd be very curious to hear what you think. This of course doesn't mean I'll, I'll stop working on the Argon project. Of course, I'll continue to work on that. Uh, here you can't really see that well, but I tried making like the whirlpool within the center, which definitely didn't come out as good as I would have liked. Uh, you can't really see that well through the shaders. Uh, but that needs some work as well. And here you see me like refining the pillars and stuff uh, by hand, which took quite some time as well. Um, but other than that, that's kind of what I have to say. Uh, I'll let this just play out. Uh, let me know what you think I should do if I should continue this. I think it probably takes me another four hours or so to properly finish this project. And then a couple more to uh, add the actual whatever is needed to make it a full fledged map to make the mechanics right because i do want to do details with inside inside the houses as well which definitely would take quite some time now here you see me do one last thing uh, i wanted to kind of turn it into some form of floating island so i decided to just delete some stuff uh, i didn't have much time left for the four hour time limit i added some chimneys here real quick to kind of add to that steampunky vibe they aren't really connected to anything yet but i would love to do that and here you see me add something to the other crane. That crane has been emptied, so that's basically being lowered. Uh, and that's kind of, here you kind of see me extend those platforms a bit further because I realized that those were just too small to really hoist anything up. I extended those on these side as well. Um, so that's kind of my process through this entire project. Uh, this is kind of how it turned out. I think it uh, ended up looking pretty good within the four hour time li limit I gave myself. Uh, though I have realized in making this that two hours is a really short time to actually build and come up with a whole village ID. 
Uh, anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you have some suggestions for me what to do with this. And I hope to see you on another video. I do really want to do uh, more of these kind of build challenges. Maybe some that are a bit shorter than this one. Um, so let me know if you have any ideas for that as well. Other than that, have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.